So in part one of this video, we reflected points over the x-axis on a coordinate plane. And in number two, we're going to focus on graphing points and reflecting them over the y-axis. All right, so if we look at number two, we already have graphed a quadrilateral. And underneath that, we have four points, A, B, C, and D, that have the ordered pairs for that quadrilateral. So if we think of our rules from class, we know that when we reflect over the y-axis, that this time the y-coordinate stays the same, and the x-coordinate is the one that changes. All right, so let's look at our first ordered pair, which is 4, negative 5. Now, I know that I'm going to be flipping this over the y-axis, which is my vertical axis. Okay. So since my x is the one that changes this time, and my x is my 4, I'm going to change it to its opposite, which is negative 4 because when you flip over the y-axis, the x-coordinate is the one that changes, which means my negative five, which is my y-coordinate, is going to stay the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and graph that. Start at my origin. I'm gonna to go to the left, one, two, three, four, and down, one, two, three, four, five. And as you can see in number two, you can already tell that my first, pit, my first point has hopped over my y-axis. All right, let's look at point B, which is six, negative three. I know my six is my x-coordinate, and when we flip over the y-axis, the x is the one that changes. So I'm gonna change my positive six to a negative six, and I'm going to keep my y as a negative three because the y-coordinate stays the same. So then I'm gonna graph this point. So I'm going to go to the left, 6, and down, 3. And because I have two points that are creating a shape, I'm going to connect them. All right, point C has 10 as my x-coordinate and negative 6 as my y-coordinate. So again, my x is the one that changes, so it's going to change from a positive 10 to a negative 10. And my negative six, because it's my y coordinate, is going to stay exactly the same. So let's graph this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, negative six. And same thing with graphing again. I'm going to go from the, po the point I previously did, and I'm going to connect those two lines. And last, my point D, I have five as my X coordinate and negative 10 as my Y. So because again, as I'm going over my Y axis, my X is gonna change from positive five to negative five. And my Y stays the same, which is a negative 10. So I'm gonna graph that. One, two, three, four, five. Negative one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, negative 10. I'm gonna graph it from my previous point. And since I have no more points in my original shape, I'm going to connect and close up my shape. So as you can see, my original quadrilateral looks like it was picked up and flipped over on the other side into quadrant three over my y-axis. So then again over here for your answers, I'm just going to list my new points after flipping them. So negative four, negative five, negative six, negative three, negative 10, negative six, and negative five, negative 10. And again, number two says graph, which I've already done. So in this video, we reflected points over an axis, both X and Y axes on a coordinate plane.